All right, no Chucky Lozano there, but Herc, you basically told us uh, what he said. Mal, what do you make of Jimmy Lozano's comments there, that it's where, or rather, where they don't play that is the reason why Mexico's, Mexico's players are losing these games to the U.S.? I mean, Captain Obvious, right? <laughs> to start, of course, if you have players performing at better leagues, better teams, obviously the level of competition and level of performance will increase. That's step number three. Because I keep hearing from pundits, former players, former managers that are now part of the media that insist, and this is the way they say it, Herc, correct me if I'm wrong, we have to send more players to Europe. Right. It, it, it doesn't work like that. It's not that you're going to take your phone and call Bayern Munich and ask him if they <laughs> could please accept Luis Chavez. Arsenal, <laughs> can we please send Uriel Antuna? Just, just, just sit Bukayo Saka for, for a few minutes. Just let him play. No, the reason why there's no more Mexican players at that level is just because they're not good enough. It is as simple as that. They're just not good enough. The question is, why are they not good enough? What happened at the under-20, under-17 level? Mexico didn't qualify for the U-20 World Cup. Mexico is not playing in the Olympics. That is, to me, the first problem that has to be addressed. And I know Jimmy Lozano sort of touched on that matter. But the whole thing about, listen, the whole squad, they all play in Europe, and, and, and the way they train, the way they practice, uh, the teammates that surround them, the managers they work with. That's step three or four. Step number one and two is you got to create a situation to have more talent because we keep saying about players like Cesar Montes. When he tends Cesar Montes per generation, every four years, maybe six of them will stay and play and be good in Liga MX. Three of them will go and play in Europe. One of them will go and play South American Major League Soccer. But as, as long as Mexico does not recognize that that is the problem, then results like this are going to keep happening. Yeah, if we're talking about last night, it's a combination of two bad tactics, even though Sebi and I have said before this team should be more pragmatic. The U.S. men's national team waited for him. Tim Ream told our Jeff Carlisle they knew exactly what was going to happen. And Greg Berhalter being Greg Berhalter with Mexican national team, he knew exactly what was going to happen. He's Pep Guardiola. <laughs> and, 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 and what happened, happened. But I will say this. I've never in my life seen a situation where the Mexican press have been on a circus call. And it's all the shows. It's a deep dive into what can change, how can we change, when can we change it. And everything I've seen, heard, read, or watched is about Liga Mekis. It starts and finishes with Liga Mekis, with the amount of foreigners, with this or that. It's all wrong. Because if you are depending on Liga Mekis to strengthen your national team, you're going about it the wrong way. The Federation, the Mexican Federation, needs to be more independent. The owners of the teams of Liga Mekis clubs can't have a say, can't have the say, all the say, in what happens in the national team. What's good for Liga Mekis, foreign players, retaining talent, etc., is not good for the growth of the Mexican national team. What's good for making money, playing in the United States, sending all your games there, is not good for the Mexican national team. You need to be independent from Liga Mekis. That is a major problem. Yeah. Jimmy Lozano may not be wrong here, but I hate this. I hate the fact that this seems like it was spreading through the dressing room before this game was even played. You mentioned Chiquito Sanchez said it in an interview. Jorge Sanchez said it in an interview. The manager comes out afterwards within five minutes of a loss. You got to come out and you're going to say, we don't have enough players in Europe. That's a loser mentality. You had that already in the microwave, ready to go. When you hit the field, you knew you weren't as good as that team. And that, to me, is not the way you got to go into this. And the other thing here is, if that's the solution, and Jimmy Lozano is telling me, oh, by the way, the, the only way to fix this is to start selling younger, that's an 8 12 year away solution. That's not going to help Mexico in 2024, in 2026. So, this is not in any way what I want to be hearing from the Mexican manager after he just got worked by the United States. It's nothing but pretextos, it's nothing but excuses. And you can't use that after a game like this. To me, it's just further evidence Jimmy Lozano is not the guy. We'll get to that a little Ooh. bit later on. Let's ask. Let's ask about the number nine. Let's ask about the number nine, Mal, because I want to hear from you. Yeah. Henry Martin, still your boy? We, st we still good there? You still riding that train? <laughs> yeah, still my boy. I don't think the number nine was an issue. The, 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 the players around the number nine, that was probably a bigger issue. Uh, I don't remember Henry Martin having a clear opportunity 
in front of Turner. Uh, it was it was not one of those games in which, whereas before, both wingers are getting chances, winning 1v1s. You have both number eights getting closer to, to, the, to, to the box and then having numbers up front, and then it's the number nine's fault for not scoring. That was not the case. Listen, Santi Jimenez could have started this game. The end result would have been the exact same. Um, I think this will evolve as Santi Jimenez um, gets more, even more settled in Europe, scores more often, plays more often, then, he ha then he'll have a better chance. But as for now, I mean, why would you take Henry Martin out when Santi Jimenez has been there? He also hasn't performed. Mark? Yeah, I think it goes beyond the coach's decision over you know, Henry Martinez as the actual night. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. I don't know why I say that, because I keep going back. I keep trying to defend Jimmy Lozano. I keep going back to when we were at the <laughs> World Cup in Qatar, and we would see these viral clips of him working with Televisa, and he's up there with a depth chart, and he's showing the depth chart of the teams, you know, player per player, what he's got. And he's got Santi Jimenez as his number nine in 2026. He's got, he's got Acevedo and the goalkeeper with Luis Magón. You know, he's got all these players, a youth movement that he sold the federation, that he sold to get this job. And here we are. And I know you say it may not change things now, but I think it does change things. Because if you lose with Santi Jimenez on the field, if you lose with Luis Malagón on the field, you lose with youth on the field, you can say, we're trying to do something. We're trying to start a process. We're trying to get somewhere. But what can you say now with this? You can't say that. Yeah, yeah. Santi Jimenez, somehow, again, another Mexican manager that comes to a conclusion that nobody else understands. Uh, Santi Jimenez, not the starter uh, in this one. All right, real quick on Memo Choa. Is that it, Mal? You think we've seen the end of him? Or do you think he gets a, another run in Copa America? Uh, no, I think, he'll, I, th I think he'll get another run. I think he's uh, a very powerful figure in Mexican soccer. I think there are other Forget elements that. involved. Forget that. Do you think he should get another run? I don't care about politics oh, and powerful figures. No, and no, 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 no. I said, it, I, okay. said it, I said it on Tuesday when we were all together in, in the studio. I think it's Angel Malagón's time. I think uh, Memo can be very, very helpful being part of the squad. I just think it's time. It's time for a fresh start with Angel Malagón as a starter. Yeah, that's the problem here is this decision shouldn't have been or shouldn't be in question today. It should have been made after the World Cup. That should mm -hmm. have been a swan song. So you don't you avoid these situations because he'll have his games where it's lights out Memo Cho and he makes saves. But then every time there's an error or there's an inkling, it might have been his fault. We're going to have the same conversation. Should Memo Cho re retire? This should have been just dealt with a long time ago. Yes. Remember the name Alex Padilla, huh? Okay. Six foot three kid. Do you remember her when we did the 2026 look ahead rosters? You remember who my backup goalie was for Mexico? Who was it? It was Alex Padilla. He's, uh, he plays for Athletic Club de Bilbao. And uh, he's just now with the Mexico U23s, U23s I think. Yeah, they right? played so against just, Argentina. Hey, he's a yeah. six foot three goalie with Mexican roots. That's all I know. Uh, and that's four, all I need five, to know four, ahead, four, of, uh, ahead of 2020. Oh, four, six, four. Four, two. Four, two is the final score. That's Argentina. Give him some credit. <laughs> Uh, all right, real quick on Jimmy Lozano. Uh, how do we feel about his job security, Mal? Uh, not, not good. I think he, uh, I think he should be removed. I think the, a heavier hand, steadier hand is needed. And this is the way I see it. Whoever manages the team in Copa America 2024 has to be the 2026 World Cup manager. It doesn't make hmm. any sense if you're not going to take advantage of this tournament, if you're going to remove the manager then. But I don't feel like Jimmy Lozano is ready for that. He's still learning on the job. For who? Mourinho can come here. Pep Guardiola is not going to change Almada. the pool. Almada. You're not changing the pool of players, and that's that's really what's at the root of this. True. It doesn't matter True. who the coach is. The players are going to stay the same. The results are going to be the same. Mm. I mean, he got the lineup wrong, he got the game plan wrong, and he got the in-game management wrong. There's got to be, Herc, somebody somewhere near Mexican football that can get one of those three things right come Copa America. At least that's what L3 fans should Keep be hoping looking, for. We'll right? see the other three couldn't if do it's it. Jimmy I guess Lozano. Look for more. There you go. All right, there it is. Uh, Mauricio Pedro, as always, great to have you with us here on Football America. Bring me back whenever Mexico wins. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a minute.